Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Matt Lepink. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about that it looks like that in case Celsius would bankrupt, Goldman Sachs may be going to buy Celsius assets. And this is a very interesting approach from Goldman Sachs. The second news is all about that uh, Lebanon's inflation rate surged to 200 and 11 percent and let's talk about in different countries what kind of inflations are we witnessing right now and we have uh, uh, some uh, hard-working small investors they have achieved their goal to collect one single bitcoin the numbers of the addresses which hold more than one bitcoin have increased heavily recently so guys all this in today's video And don't forget, if you would like to stay up to date, which is, I think, very important in crypto, simply subscribe to the YouTube channel Blockchain Bloom because every single weekday I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Also, hit the like button if you think this content is valuable for you and check out the links under this video because there are many useful ones. For instance, if you would like to register to a centralized exchange just because you would like to buy crypto, with those links you can get your discount. Okay, and now when we're looking at the price, of Bitcoin, for instance, we can see it's 21,457 at the moment. It's a tiny little increase in the last 24 hours, while Ethereum a little bit just went down at the moment, 1,233 US dollar. When we're looking at the winners, we see Stacks going up 21%, Doge going up 11%, and we have Throne going up 6%. Among the losers, we have the graph at the top with 6% down, Stroy almost 6%, and Torchain. Uh, five and a half, something like this. And when we're looking at the candlestick chart, we can see Bitcoin coming back basically to this 21 level. You know, it's uh, kind of moving between now for a while, between uh, 21 and 20. And obviously we had this dump all the way down to 17,000. And we could see something like this in the future, but it could happen now, a kind of small uh, recovery uh, rally. But, you know, the whole um, ecosystem, uh, I mean, the the, the, the the world's economy and everything is just not in the shape to, you know, come back to this major recovery so soon, sooner or later, obviously, what is down, it's later up if it's a strong asset, but now we're doing this side movements and obviously we can go further down, but we are right here at the moment. Uh, okay, and by the way, when you're looking at interesting things, look here on uh, Twitter, you know, back in 2010, no one used basically Bitcoin, almost no one. Then 2012, only computer nerds used it. Then 2013, only drug dealers used it. Then 2014, only money launderers used it. Then 2017, only gamblers used it, as they say. In 2019, only small percentage of population used it. 2020, only small companies used it. Now 2021, only small countries use it. You know, so the thing is that there is definitely a huge change in it and a development. And I think that was also uh, funny if it starts from here, you know, as this whole kind of all these kind of landing protocols go when, you know, and, and many liquid uh, pools, you know, when people join in, it's going up and then the bubble burst. It's perfect. And these are the guys who are wrecked. And when you can get the big picture still, when you can get days, this is what you uh, see when you're looking at years, looking between and looking at decades, then a significant increase, for example, in Bitcoin. So you always have to zoom out. I think this is very important. Right now, it's time to move on to the first topic. It's all about that Goldman Sachs could buy Celsius assets in case of uh, bankruptcy. We do know that uh, Celsius is uh, facing some uh, problems now. And for example, according to this article, Celsius Network hires advisors ahead of potential bankruptcy. You know, they have stopped withdrawals. And uh, well, there's a source uh, that they're saying that Goldman Sachs, which is a leading investor group, could buy Celsius assets in this case. And uh, well, guess what? 
Goldman Sachs, uh, it's really heavily investing uh, in something which is crypto. This is definitely a sign for me that crypto could have future because guys at Goldman Sachs and, and JP Morgan and all these guys, guess what? They have amazing connections with the Fed, with the regulators and all these things. And they wouldn't do this if they wouldn't be uh, kind of sure that uh, this could be a good investment. So Goldman Sachs is looking at a raise of two billion from investors to buy Celsius assets. So the proposal deal would allow investors to buy up uh, Celsius asset at potentially big discount if the event of bankruptcy filling. And look at this, Celsius, which had more than 8 billion lent out to clients and 12 billion in assets under management, as uh, this was according to May. So this is a lot of, lot of uh, money and to buying it just for 2 billion, it's a huge discount. But if this happening, maybe Goldman Sachs is about to buying it. And this is an interesting uh, approach. Something which we probably wouldn't see and couldn't see in 2018, for instance, when we witnessed another uh, bear market bearish period. Okay, next topic. The next topic is all about uh, starting with Lebanon. And Lebanon has a huge uh, surge in inflation. And let's check out some other countries. They looking pretty, uh, they're looking pretty bad. So we do know that even the US is struggling with inflation. The Fed is struggling with inflation. And those... 8.6%, what the recent data when it came out about May, it's pretty big. Uh, when we're looking at uh, the world reserves currency, the US dollar. However, we have countries, they are in a much worse situation. Here we go. We have here Lebanon, inflation rate surged to, uh, you know, 211%. That's massive. And this making it the 23rd consecutive time consumer price in this has surged. So um, the revelation of the latest inflation figure comes as the country's politicians reportedly struggle to form a new government more than a month after parliamentary elections. So they are in pretty bad situation. They got here a bailout and all these things. So anyway, so the inflation is just going up like crazy in several countries, 211% in May. Well, and look at this. Um, when you're looking at here countries, we have now here, this the, the, the freshest one here, um, 211. But the previous one, 206, that's, that's amazing. That's what the previous one. But then when we have Zimbabwe with massive numbers and Sudan, then we have Venezuela. Look at this. Well, they're struggling for a while. Look at their previous one. It's just like, wow. And then we have Syria. This is just like one year ago data. But Turkey, as we know, it's also, uh, you know, 73.5%. Argentina, 50, uh, what's it, 60%. And look, many, many other countries, such a big number of inflation. So, okay, when we look at these numbers, that 8.6% 8 8 in the US doesn't look that bad. But guess what? This is, this is the currency which uh, all these others, uh, they try to compare and um, try to catch up. And uh, when you're looking at that, that it's already going down uh, that significantly, just guess what? You're holding it. You don't do anything. You're holding it. You're, the value of your money going down 8.6% compared to last year. So you have to work really hard. Just get back to zero to getting some nice moves in the stock market, which is actually, you know, going down now as well. In crypto, uh, obviously, uh, it's much easier to get nice percentages, but it's very volatile. So when now the market goes down, you can have much bigger losses as well. So we are living in a difficult times. So I just wanted to show you this one here as well. However, let's talk about something great, which means that more and more people can have achieved and will probably achieve their dream to hold one single Bitcoin.
So here we have this article in Cointelegraph, uh, and the title is that small-time investors achieve the one Bitcoin dream as Bitcoin holds 20,000K range, as we're staying in this range. And look, this is very important. So on June the 20th, Cointelegraph reported that number of Bitcoin wallets addresses containing one Bitcoin or more increased 13,091 in just seven days. And there are many posts here that uh, even on, on some on Reddit and some people, you know, posted here and there that they could accumulate finally uh, one single Bitcoin. And this was their dream. Because guess what? To put together one single Bitcoin, even if it's now like 21,000 or 20,000, is still a lot of money for many, many, many people. And for the majority, it's usually, uh, first of all, um, they have to be really, um, you know, hardworking for a while and DCA for a while. But guess what? To, to get one Bitcoin is 69,000 or 50,000 or 55 or 45, whatever, or get it at around uh, 18, 19, 20, 21,000. It's a huge difference. And we can go actually further down. And if you think about it, that we believe in Bitcoin and we think that, yes, this could uh, be worth much more in like a fine 10 years time, then it's a great investment. Don't forget, crypto is a risky investment. You just, you should do your homework and you just really move into it if you say okay this is the amount i can actually uh maybe lose if things don't work out that well but uh, i take this risk because uh, when i'm looking at fiat currency when looking at some others investments actually they don't perform that well in in a many year period when we zoom out like bitcoin does so of course it's your decision but uh you know, according to the statistics, more and more people uh, uh, reaching their dream because many people say if you just can hold one single Bitcoin in the future, then you will be pretty much uh, safe. But we don't know the future, so we will see. Guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single weekday, I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Simply subscribe to this YouTube channel to get every day the freshest and hit the like button if you like this kind of content. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.